Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Dora and this is my update to Panda Palette 2024. I am working on three palettes this year and I want to show you my progress. I'm going to start with the smallest one okay so this is the Too Faced that's my jam palette there are eight pans in here here's a picture of what this palette looked like last time and I brought this in just a hit pan on every single shade this is my fun sized palette I'm doing the pan that palette collaboration with the Panastic Ladies this year and it's also my Better Together by Paula aka a beauty girl made me do it and that's also through the Fantastic Ladies and here is what my palette is looking like today. So I haven't hit any pans yet, but I think I'm getting really, really close on my two focus shades. So on that shimmer shade here called Pick Up Limes, and then also on this dark burgundy matte shade called Jam On It. I'm gonna go through the shades one by one now and let you know how many times I've used them since my last update. And then I'm gonna insert a slide so you can see the total amount of uses on this palette within this project. Spread it, the pink matte I have used 12 times. The lilac matte called Grape Soda I have used once. Pick Up Limes I have used 30 times. Jam Session I have used once. Weeby Jammin' and Violet Femmes I've also used once each. And this purple shimmer is what I've got dabbed on top of this eye look today. I actually applied this, ooh, nearly five hours ago and it's still going and I did a two hour walk. I'm quite impressed with this formula actually. Toast I have used three times and then Jam On It I have got 17 uses since my last update on this. So while I had these two focus shades here, the shimmer as an inner corner highlight, and then jam on it to deepen out the outer corner in most looks, 17 looks at least, I also had a no pan left behind on this palette. So I managed to do that. Haven't hit any pans yet, but I think I'm getting quite close. I've really enjoyed these mattes, so mainly the pink and the um, orangey one. Just a very, very light wash of it to um, blend out the crease. Really enjoy them for that. I don't know, like, I feel like some content creators here on YouTube, like the big ones, have given this palette not the most positive reviews but I'm really, really impressed with the formula, I have to say. And applying these shimmers with a finger on top of an eye look, I find them quite long lasting. So I'm really happy with this palette, I love it. Okay, in terms of goals for next time, I'm gonna continue to have these two as focus shades and I think I'm also gonna do the no pan left behind again. There's only eight shades in here. Super easy to do that. I mean, two of them are already focus shades, so that's just another six shadows for me to dip into at least once. I think that is manageable. And I think it's just nice to keep it going to, you know, start to plan what shades am I gonna focus on next once I have hit pan in these, because then I'm just gonna ignore them and dip into the other shades I've got in here that I'm still trying to, you know, at least hit pan on, if not finish. Let's look at my pan that palette from last year next that I'm still working on. This is the Makeup Revolution Kombucha Kiss palette. It's heavily frankened and I think almost half of them, yes, eight franken shadows. However, actually technically seven because one of them I have finished twice. I finished the original shade and then I finished the franken shade. Woohoo, so I've got one empty in here and the rest of them are still the original ones. So here's a picture of what Kombucha Kiss looked like at my last update. And here it is today. So I haven't hit any new pans and I also haven't finished any more shades yet, but I think I am getting quite close. I'm gonna try and have another empty for the next update. I think, I really hope I can do it. So my two focus shades were Rebel, this matte shade here, and Light Up. So with this one, I use it mixed in with my face powder, just 
for the under eye area to set my concealer. And then light up, I'm trying to finish. Yeah. I also had the side goal of doing a no franken pan left behind on this palette. So seven pans that I wanted to use at least once. Didn't quite manage to do that, but we'll talk about it. Let's go through the shades one by one. So Chaos the Franken I have used twice. Energy I used once. Didn't use, didn't use Vision, no. Light Up I used five times. I'm gonna try and do a little side by side so you can see the pan expansion after five uses. It's quite crumbly. So I'm hoping that's gonna be quite helpful in me trying to finish it for next time. Or at least getting really, really close. I don't know, I might even end up repressing it into the center. I'll see. Heat and then the Franken, Passion and Fiery, I have used once each. Blazing, I've also used once. Sizzling, I finished last time. Rebel, I used 18 times. Scorching, I used once. Heating up, I used twice. Didn't use, didn't use, and the dark side, I used once. From my side goal, I used chaos, light up, heating up, passion, and scorching. I didn't use all or nothing or spice because I was focusing in on the deep burgundy matte shade from the Too Faced palette. In my mind, it makes more sense to work on the Too Faced as like my highest priority from these three palettes because I'm only trying to hit pan, which I realize is difficult. But um, yeah, that's my goal. And like once I've hit pan in one of those shades, I'm gonna ignore them. So with Passion, the Franken, quite a new Franken. If you saw my last update, I had just Franken Spice, Passion, Scorching and All or Nothing. And I said that this one was probably my least favorite one out of them. I used this yesterday all over my lid and I really, really enjoyed it. So that was my one use, but I have to say, yeah, I'm happy I did that. It looked really nice. So um, I don't think I need to like re-franken it just yet. In terms of goals, I'm wondering, I'm gonna stick with my two focus shades. Yeah, I'm gonna do Rebel for sure. And then I think I'm gonna continue with Light Up. So the way I've been using Light Up is this all over my lid and then jam on it the burgundy from the Too Faced on the outer corner and then a shimmery shade from the Colori Vivace that I'm gonna show you after this one on, dabbed on top to just brighten it up, give it more shine. I think I'm gonna to continue to do that until I've hit pan in that dark shade. I'm wondering whether then to switch over to heating up. I'm gonna to have to see how I feel. I might try light up with one of these four darker shades here to see if that also looks really nice because I haven't got a dark shade in the Colori Vivace that would suit. There's only one navy in there, you're gonna see. <laughs> I might then switch to heating up because this is, although I've only used it twice, I find it quite crumbly. So I think this could be like a, an easy-ish shade to try and finish next as well. I'm just gonna keep it open. So for now, all right, Rebel and Light Up as my focus shades. And I think I am not gonna try and do no Franken pan left behind anymore. It didn't work this past month. I don't want to just force myself. And yeah, my priority is definitely this palette at the moment, because once I've got my eight pans, it moves out of this project and then I'm only working on two. So yeah, I'll stick with those goals. I think that's enough. Let's look at the BH Cosmetics Colori Vivace palette next. This was definitely my lowest priority. <laughs> Here's a picture of what this looked like last time. And here is where I'm at today. No new pans. These two were my focus shades and that was it. I didn't want to put, I didn't want to set a no pan left behind goal on this palette anymore. I did that in the first month and then I stopped. I'm, I think again, I'm going to keep it that way. They're not like super hard to hit pan in. This one took me 13 uses. So I know 
if I buckle down, I can do it. Okay, shades one by one. Skipping over any that I didn't touch. So this shade here, this is the one that I use on top of the Franken light up and then with jam on it on the outer corner. I used that three times. This gold I used once. I actually dabbed that over Passion, the Franken that I wasn't so sure about earlier. It looked really nice. These shimmers are so beautiful when you use your finger and apply them on top. No hard pan, really easy to powdery, but also buttery enough to pick them up with your finger, put them on your eyelids and they stay in place. I love them for that because they are soft enough for that. Yeah. And I really love this palette for that. And that's kind of how I want to be using these shimmers. And there are one, two, three. Okay, apart from that one, because that's probably more an outer corner one. Three, six, seven. The seven shimmers in here, technically eight. That's how I want to use them for now until I need to really like get going on hitting more pans. I feel like right now it would be a little bit of a waste to try and just put my brush in there and like try and force the pan to happen when I can still, you know, as they aren't that deep yet, I can apply them with my finger much, much easier. So this slightly more champagne-y gold shimmer I also used once. Again, dabbed over an eye look with my finger. And then the pink and the red, two matte shades. I've been wearing them together all over my lid, outer corner, three times together. On each of them and then this one I used once yesterday with passion that I was talking about and this one just to blend out the crease really liked it for that that's all I've got on this one Ugh. focus for next month I'm gonna continue to try with the pink and the red Basically, my focus, as I said, went on other palettes, but also I was really, really trying to hit pan in my Project Level Up, Level 1 palette, which I now managed to do. So now that project has gone on the back burner and I'm back on PDP and Panda's eyeshadows, etc. So yeah, unfortunately, I'm not like really like going for it with this one yet, but I just... I really, really like it. So part of me still wants to hold back a little bit. And I do also think that this is such a spring summer palette. And although we are technically in spring and I'm definitely, you know, feeling more rays of sunshine and all of that, I'm trying to just get the grungy looks out and pan those now while I still can before I get super bored of that. And all I want to be wearing is like bright colors and pinks. So that was that. I am excited though. I think my next update is gonna be interesting. I'm really hoping for, ooh, potentially five more pans. Don't think that's doable, but I'm gonna try really hard. Let's see how many I can get. And maybe one, maybe even two finished shades. I'm gonna aim high because why not? Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're doing really well and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or night, wherever you are. And I'm sending you so much love. Take care, bye. Thank you.